what's going on you guys welcome back to another video so in this video i want to talk about what does toxic enabling do for a narcissist now i've been seeing a lot of people sharing this on facebook that says if someone is not for you god will not let you be at peace with them and i truly feel that because it's like the narcissist we give them so much of power and control to we don't even realize how we are just pretty much a puppet to them. Like they completely take away all of our ability to have free will and just do, you know, what makes us happy. We don't have any preference when it comes up to the narcissist. They have a way of manipulating us to believe that their way is the best way. And we normally just go along with it. And that's enabling. But when it comes to toxic enabling, that's just like, you know, a bad situation on a whole nother level. Especially when you're in a relationship with someone and you start to see their toxic traits when you don't call them out on it you turn a blind eye to it you just kind of blow it off or make excuses for their behavior that creates more of a toxic environment which you know enables the narcissist and we're right along with them we really know better than them when we, you know, go along and get along with them. Let them have their way. Or we make excuses like, oh, well, you know, that's just the way they are. They don't mean no harm. Or even when they <laughs> do everything they can to show you who they are. You still try to find something good out of them. That gives them the excuse to behave a certain way. That's the thing that we do when we enable narcissists. And it creates a toxic environment. Now imagine being in a relationship with one. You're never going to be happy. It'll never be a 50-50 situation. Because narcissists are very selfish. And they want everything their way. They want to always be in the driver's seat. You know, you, you're you always the passenger and you're probably the backseat passenger at that. Because they don't have respect enough to say, you know, you deserve to have a choice, have a say at it. They're so used to always having this power to be in control of everything. So they just completely forget that you even exist. And because you don't open your mouth, you know... Your silence tells them that it's a it's a thing of compliance and respect. But it's not respect. It's just compliance. Now, some narcissists, when you're in a relationship with one, they're so toxic and abusive. So they even tell you that we just going to do it how I want to do it. OK, when they do that, it's like they're telling you that you're not smart enough to think for yourself. You know, they try to play your intelligence. They pretty much telling you to your face that you're dumb. And you can have all the degrees in the world and have so much education under your belt to their zero. But for some reason, you choose to believe what they're telling you just to keep the ball in their court. You help them to beat you at the game. Narcissists are the type, you know, they're like children. They're selfish when it comes to sharing. So when you're in a game with a narcissist, narcissists love to make the rules up as they go to where, you know, it it, <laughs> it always gives them the win. They're going to always win as long as they're making up the rules. You're just playing along just to be playing along, just to give them something to do. You know, it gives them supply knowing that, oh, I'm going to win again. Oh, I beat you again. 
You know, they like to throw things in your face. And sooner or later, you're going to realize being with the narcissist, you're going to be miserable, first of all. Never going to be happy. You're never going to be at peace. You're going to always be on your feet. They're going to keep you on your toes because you're going to do everything you can to make sure that you're pleasing them. You know, because the narc got that kind of attitude to where only their needs are to be met. And that should be your main concern. They're going to give you just enough to keep you there supplying their needs. And I don't mean like needs like, a, um, you know, like material in a material way, but supplying their needs to you're constantly just making sure that they feel good about themselves. But the narcissists never really feel good about themselves. Again, they act like children. They don't know how to take a loss. You know, they have a fit of rage when they can't have their way. They even flip out when you tell them about themselves and you can tell them in the most nicest way possible. They're not going to hear that though. All they heard is you said something that goes against what they believe about themselves. And so now you're the bad person. And how this enables the narcissist is that you take it back. When you take it back and you're constantly apologizing. Because before, even when that happens, before that happens, they're going to give you the silent treatment. They're going to stop talking to you. They're going to take things back from you. You know, and then the beginning stages with the narc, you know, of course, they hoover and love bomb. And they sell your dreams. But that day will never come. You will never live to see that day that they promised you they're happily ever after. If anything, the narcissist is already planning to live a separate life from you, but still have you to come along with them. But they don't want to have that togetherness as it should be. There will never be a union with the narcissist, and you will never be equally yoked with one. Because, you know, you're just two different people. And they know that they can use you to always be that yes man, that tag along until you finally open up your eyes and realize that you deserve better. Because what keeps us in that position with the narcissist to constantly enable them is because we don't believe in ourselves enough. You know, we don't love ourselves enough. We don't think that we deserve better. And the narcissists know that. They already know that. Even though they see all of that in us, they see the potential in us more than we do because they've taken that away from us, given it to themselves, and they want us to just continue to build them up to feel like someone who should be worshipped all the time. And that's basically what we do when we enable them. We worship them, which creates a toxic environment. When there is verbal abuse in a relationship with a narcissist and we give them that back and forth, we're creating a toxic environment. That's how we become toxic enablers. Because we don't step away from the situation because we deserve better. Oh no. You know, we entertain them with their foolishness. You know, when there's physical abuse in the um relationship, and we decide, you know, I'm not going to take them licks. I'm going to go blow for blow. We enable them. And we create more of a toxic environment. Instead of deciding to walk away from that. Because those punches don't feel good. And we deserve better. We stick it out with them. And we don't confuse that as love. We know that that's not love. But we don't love ourselves enough to know that we shouldn't stick around for something like that, you know, based off hopes and things that it will get better because it won't, you know. So that's how we create toxic environments for narcissists. That's how we become toxic enablers.